All right, let's see. Test one, two, three. Here we go. All right, I think we're all set for tonight's live stream. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Codemaster Gaming. It might be a little bit of a short while, but I know the last time didn't quite exactly go to plan, but hopefully we can be able to figure this one out. Hopefully we'll get through a nice walkthrough right here. Okay, so without further ado, tonight we're going to be restarting. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a sneeze. We're going to be replaying Mystery Case Files Madam Fate based on last night's vote. We're going to go through the intro cutscene. Hopefully, we'll be able to get through things. All right, here we go. Here it is, Madam Fate. Now, if you don't know exactly what game this is, this is game number four in in the Mystery Case Files series. There we are, Code MR. Hmm. Somehow, last time we had the same small problem there, but I'm gonna see if I can get it right with the other games. I think since this is an old game, it usually pops up in the top left corner. But with the new games, once we're done with this one, we'll be able to get that one cornered down, okay? Alright, so without further ado, let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to Mystery Case Files Madam Fate. This is number four in the Mystery Case Files series, and today we're going to be going to a new mystery outside of Ravenhurst Manor, hopefully. So, this is number four of the series. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to tell you, walk through you all through this game, and hopefully we'll have a great time. Feel free to comment in the chat box if you have any questions. Alright, thank you for uh, coming in, and enjoy the show. Alright, so we got detective mode, normal time, relax mode, additional time. We're going to do detective mode. Here we go. Greetings, Master Detective, and welcome to my carnival. You shall know me as Madame Fate. I have observed your arrival within the all-seeing ball. Many come from near and far to have their puzzling fortunes revealed by me. The grim fate I witnessed today, however, was that of my very own. The ball has foretold my death at the stroke of midnight this very day. By what means, I do not know. Perhaps your calling is an omen of hope. Perhaps you are here to help reverse my tragic destiny. I've grown increasingly distrustful of my miserable lackeys here at the carnival, and I'm certain a lot of them would like to see me perish. With your assistance, I might be able to identify my killer by unlocking the future and inspecting the culprit's whereabouts at midnight. You must bring me clues associated with each carnival worker. If you obtain enough evidence, the crystal ball will be more inclined to share its secrets. Be warned, capturing a glimpse of the future can prove quite puzzling. You must work quickly. Bring me the items I request to reverse my fortune. If you complete this task, I promise to answer your most haunting questions by looking into your own future. Now go and find the soul who seeks to kill Madame Fate. Alright, so it seems that we're going to go into different attractions this time. So all these posters around here, starting from here... All the way down there, probably here, of course, we'll be interviewing one carnival at at a time. So the first one is the Magician, the Amazing Larry. Hack magician employed by Madam Fate. Larry's exceptional lack of magical powerless has caused him great anxiety. Would he snuff the Madam to remain employed at the carnival? Well, that's what we're here to find out. So, we have to find all these objects here. This will show us exactly how many items we need to find. So, we're starting from here, from here, 
and probably going to go from here to there, and up from here to here, from the magician all the way to the acrobat. So without further ado, we're going to find, and we're going to go investigate the carnival. Now this is a map of the carnival here. It's going to take a little while, but we're going to figure this out. So we're going to start at the entrance. So like the previous game, we got assist a list of games here to see if to see what we need to find in here. So here's an example. Alright, joke. Badge. Um baseball. A phone. Hmm. Here we are. A frog. Clock. Um, let me see, let me see. A Apple. Really small gorgeous. object. It can be any color between red and green. This is not an apple, this is a pear. Here's our hot dog. Um, apple, flask, a cookie. Let me see, is there a cookie? There we are. Now, if you don't understand what this is, there's more than 10 items in this scene, if you might not remember. Locate all the clues in this area. Click the sparkling location to search for more clues. This is an extra add-on here. Heads over here. Fighters in the ring. Okay, now. Am I confused about what might be over here? So, we need to put the heads over heels. It's a literally form, which means we gotta put objects there. Like that. By doing so, it won't actually cause the item to disappear, but just sparkle. Let's see, fighters and ring. So this is the ring. Where's his opponent? Here we are. A knot. Flower. Signature. Emma Ravenhurst. I wonder if she came here. So, if you wonder what that was, every time I click on objects quickly, it will cause a time bonus, causing the timer to reset a few minutes back. Three, three paw prints. Hmm. There we go. That's three paw prints. Now, lightning bolt. A single teardrop. There it is. Now a fish. There should be a fish somewhere in here. Hmm. I'm gonna use a hand. Okay, there it is, right there. Oh, before I click it, I just noticed something right here. You see this object right here, the key in the lock? It usually shifts into a key, but it's actually a morphin object. You see, every time I get a new, every time I click on a morph, a hint, a new hint will be added up here. So we got all the items hidden in this location, now we can move on to the next one. Let's try the bumper cars. Hmm. Not really much here. It looks like a small cemetery for old carnival attractions. Hmm. Not too settling here. Let's see. Um, earring. Sea monster. Airplane. Let's see. Radio. Pants. Telescope. Um, a cup. Where? Ooh, a thimble. Oh, that was the cup. Wow, didn't even notice that. Let's see, a sleigh. More like a sled there. Okay, there's the grasshopper, and the frog, it's right there. Okay, now, we're going to the Amazing Larry next, but I think we should interview the Amazing Larry first. Okay, now, if you're interviewing a character, it seems we're going to need to solve these different types of word puzzles. 
I have to form 10 from 7. I have to form 10 four-letter words made up of the central seven letters here. So here's an example. Lur. That's incorrect right there. Slur. Eels. Rail. Peel. Seal. No. Nope, not syrup. This won't be one. Nope. I'm gonna need some help with these words, guys. Sure. Hmm. Soup. Didn't even know that. Okay, Pierre. Leap. Nope. Slup. What about slur? No, no, I already got that. Seep. There we go. Phew. Now this will give us a lot of time bonuses because we have five clubs, five wants. Now, when you're dealing with multiple objects that are the same object, it won't actually cause you to drain your number of items to find, but... It will cause you to decrease a lot. Well done, Master Detective. Now, one more wand. There we go. All right, now let's go to the Amazing Larry. Now, this is his stage right here. Now, we've got to find these objects and we'll be set to go. Nope, not it. A dog. Right down there. That was a coyote there. Stapler. Kitten. Set the scope. A set the scope is a tool used by doctors to hear someone's heart. Hmm. I'm gonna have to probably not use that, but a king? It's either a playing card or a chess piece. Raspberry. Hiding up there. Sailboat, come, horse, set the scope. Okay, let's see. There it is, the set the scope. On uh, the sailboat, comb horse. There's the horse, and there's the sail. Oh. Well done, Master Detective. You've located enough items to uncover the suspect's whereabouts at midnight. Only by focusing deep within the ball will the puzzling future be brought forth. <laughs> hmm. Okay, now, it looks like the only way to see the person's, the suspect's future only is by solving each one of the corresponding puzzles. The this is the first one. Okay, now, I have to visualize everything that's around me. So it looks like I need to find four shapes here. 
Here, the common four shapes for a card. Here we go. Cups and balls, more like cats and rabbit. Okay, there's one. Okay, now I get it. Every time I win a favorite here, I get a symbol. Put that down here. Let's try this again. It's right there. Hmm. This magician might need to work a little bit harder on their tricks here. So that's our second one. Now I just got two left. Ooh, now it's getting even challenge. There we are. Okay, here's our third symbol right down here. You might not have seen it. So now we need one more. Unfortunately, the next show doesn't start until 20 minutes. But we don't have to wait all that. Hmm. Seems I can shift the cards around. Let's see. There are two different forms here. The dimes and the clubs. I can probably shift them over here. I'm going to cause them to swap places. So the sixth lowest. Okay, we got eight, seven, ten, queen, jack, the king. All right, I'm going to put all this, all the diamonds over here. Okay, this be right here. Seven. Queen is right here. Swap these two out. Okay, so we have all the clubs now for the diamonds. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. There we are. And there it is. By completing the sets, I managed to get the final symbol. The puzzle is solved. Shall be my sight. Oh. It appears the amazing idiot will find himself lacking limbs and a job come the stroke of 12. You might say he's half the man he used to be. <laughs> there are a lot of puns here, so we should just move on. Work quickly and find my killer. So we've done the first one. Their fate is doomed. Next one, we have Lucy the Bearded Beauty. A favorite everywhere the show stops, her knee-length whiskers always draw a crowd. Lately, however, Madame Fate has been the show's most popular attraction. Normally, there's only room for one queen, whether air hairless or her suit of face. Would Lucy's jealousy drive her to murder? Alright, time to investigate the next suspect. Alright, let's try the bumper cars. Something wicked is on its Again, way. French curve. If you don't know what a French curve is, it's this strange symbol right there. Okay, playing card. Tuning fork. Two birds. Hmm. Well, that's not it. Motor and pestle. There it is. Okay, crab. It's at the top of this tent. Um, a crowbar. Where can I find a crowbar in there? Could be hidden anywhere. Let's see, a feather. There's gotta be a feather there somewhere. Hmm. A bowler hat. Ah, oh, here's a crowbar. And now for the feather. Oh, they were right there. I could have gotten a time bonus. But it's okay. There's the fish. Now we need the tuber. Hmm. Tuber can be any one of these objects. Tubers. Hmm. Where is it? I'm gonna come back from that. I'm gonna go to... The Incinerator. That's the name of this roller coaster. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, okay, so. Looks like we've got a space team. Oh. Huh. Should have seen that one coming. It wasn't more. Okay, so we got a pizza cutter. That's a tonic bottle. Tic tac toe. It's right there. Water pistol. There we go. A donut. 
Hmm. Obviously, a roller coaster like this one doesn't need a donut. Okay, pink moon right down there. Teeth. There it is. Very clever disguise as the part of there. A crescent wrench. Now, people are kind of wondering about the differences between different wrenches. So, if you're wondering about what this type of wrench looks like, it's this one. Okay, now, fishing lure and a donut. Donut, fishing lure. Here's the fishing lure. Now for the donut. Hidden anywhere. I have to admit, they did a really... Producers of this game did a really good job of hiding the objects. Really small objects. There it is. Here's another small object scene. All pins and the pumpkin. Okay. Right there. Okay, blow it up. Blow it up? What is that supposed to mean? A mushroom? Okay. Fishing tackle. That's another lore. A sushi piece? Okay. There's our horn. Comb. Lion. Lock. Hmm. There's another one of our pins, and another one. Okay, that's another one. Oh, here we go. Hmm, nice. We get to blow up some dynamite. Dynamite. There's our lock. Now for the beetle. Say nope. No. Hmm. Beetle should be hidden here somewhere. Nope. Oh, there it is. Let's investigate Lucy Longbeard. So we got different type. Here's a different anagram here. So by the looks of it, we're going to be looking up different types. Form six letter words of a com. Form six words of a common theme by swapping letter tiles. This one kind of looks like mummy. So I think we're dealing with Egyptian. And find my killer. And, well, I think it has something to do with Egyptian. Egypt. Pyramids. Hmm. Pharaoh. No, that can't be it. Okay, I'm going to have to come back to that one. Let's see. Let's try the carousel next. Don't worry. We still got lots of time. We're not worrying about the time right now. Okay, that was... Okay, we got a paintbrush, windmill, and totem pole. Let's see. What else can we grab? 
a snake. Hmm. There's one right there. There's our gavel. A cat. Okay. Zebra. Giraffe. There's our morph there. There's one butterfly. Two butterflies. A shark. Hmm. Can't seem to fight anywhere. Just gonna get a hint. Oh, I thought that was a dolphin. Okay, that's... I'll be right there. I'm gonna see if I can take this on again. This one I don't actually recognize. I'm gonna see if I can find this last one here. Tubers. I haven't found this one all over the place. This one was tough. What the? Okay, that was a bit odd. You've done it. Now we must use the wall to reveal the suspect's location at the stroke of twelve. You must affix your gaze on the ball. Look closely and unlock the puzzling future. <laughs> okay, next puzzle here. Okay, so it looks like we need to play these film rails on here. But before we can do that, we need to unlock these grates here. Hmm. The illustrations here and here seem commonly familiar to the ones over here on the left. I think I need to put in the correct sequence, probably to position all these here. So like the cow, it's facing downwards. I think that's some kind of contortionist. Slamming right there. The kangaroo facing downward. Seesaw person, correct. The tree facing that way. So we got the newlyweds right here, facing upwards. And this one seems to be okay. And the top hat is the last thing. I think we're good. Okay, now we can put all these film reels in here. Okay, I'm gonna do this one first. Okay. So it seems that we need to arrange all these slides to the correct format. So first we're going to start here. I'm going to put this at the top since it's the first one. This one seems next. Hmm. Okay. I'm getting something. Going in this order. Let's see now. Okay, now use this one to play this one to stop. So that's their first one. Let's try this one. It looks like a guy trying to backflip. So this one's obviously first because they're about to attempt it. They're bending their knees, about to jump, and you're halfway in the air, and they're starting to curve. Okay. That should do it. Okay, that's our second one. 
Okay, our third one has to do with the seesaw. This should be vaguely easy because you got the letters here. It gives out alphabetical order. There we go. And now for the last one. Okay. The uh, second one is wrong. Okay. So I think I need to arrange these by the clouds. So this one we can put it as a starting point. The next clouds are starting to form in. This one's next. Then this one. Then this one. Okay, I think we got it. No? Look closely and you too will observe the future. Oh, this one's wrong. Okay. There we are. Oh boy. Oh, how unfortunate. Looks like Lucy's first trip to the barber will be her last. Guess she didn't know how to play with razors. Ah. That's what she gets for not staying sharp. <laughs> well done, Master Detective. Now investigate the next suspect. Number three is Marlena the Mermaid. Resident Mermaid, although married to Dante Camello, Marlena is secretly deeply in love with the straw man, Fabiano Braun. Marlene... I mean, Madame Fetus discovered the affair when Marlena liked to see her employer swim with the fishies to keep her silent. Hmm, so this might have something to do with an affair. So now we have two doomed. So next, okay, so we got two characters here, and I'm betting one of these we're going to have to visit. Let's start with the clown's trailer. This one seems new. A, a fallen statue. This seems commonly rare. Huh, thought that was it, but it turns out it was a morphine object. Alright, let's see. Fallen statue. Isn't it a fallen statue something that's broken? Let's see. Peas. Should be the source of grain there. A garden hose? Right there. Detective. A horn. Should be a certain type of horn. A badge. Where can I find a badge? Hmm. Hot dog. There we are. Axe. Mandolin. Interesting guitar there. There's our horn. Still can't find that fallen statue. Hmm, this one is getting tougher. A badge? The badge has gotta be here somewhere. Oh, here it is. It was on the briefcase. Now uh, we need a fish and the fallen statue. Man, I can't find the fallen statue anywhere. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have to take a break from that scene. I'm gonna take a look up here. Okay, here we can Emperor B, a letter B, strawberry, butterfly pen, eye on the off. You, dancer, and raisin. Okay. A raisin is a dried up grape for those of you who are not familiar. Eye on the U. A U is a type of sheep, I believe. There we are. There's the U. Now let's see. The B. The letter B. Okay. Candy apple. Hamburger. Okay. Um. Butterfly. A pen. A dancer. So there's the dancer. There's the pen. 
Strawberry. There you go. And next we need a butterfly. Last item for this area. Got it. Okay, there's our fish. It was right up there. Strange, I didn't actually think of that one. A fallen statue. Where else have I not looked? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, there it is. It was right there. I thought that was just a pile of rubble. Alright, I'm gonna try Marlena since we haven't interviewed her yet. Opposite attraction. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Hmm. I need to come back from this one. I'm gonna try the mermaid's dunk. A crawfish. Should be some kind of a lobster. And where there's our starfish, the wishing well, the clock, alarm clock. Where is that alarm clock? An egg roll. Well, there's a donut. Chips without the sea. Hips. There we are. It was a word. A life preserver. Hmm. Let's see. There's our alarm clock. Why do I keep clicking on that? Um. Crawfish. Crawfish. Here's our knife. Man, that crawfish is really hard to find. Oh, there it is. Just clicked on it. Hmm. There's our screwdriver. We still need an egg roll. Okay, there it is. And a life preserver. Alright, finish that one. I'm gonna see if I can check on Marlena now. Let's see if I can do this one. Active. Okay, active and tight.
Hmm. That one seems tough. Trying to think, what word is the opposite? Static. Hmm, didn't even think about that one. Alright, let's see if we can make up time here. We're looking for fish hooks and seahorses. Two swimming seahorses and four more hawks. Okay, I found all the hawks now for the seahorses. Must say, this one was pretty fun to look at. Okay, now for another seahorse. Can't seem to find it anywhere. There it is. It was on her neck. Alright, time for the puppet show. Okay, lock the globe. Mystery Theater. Hmm. Let's see. Um, we're looking for another set of items here. Which, airy compass. Um. Okay, here's the compass. Seashell. I don't see it quite yet, but a feather. There should be a feather somewhere. Well, there's our key. A cherry. Where is that cherry? A shell. A shell? Hmm. Man, this one is hard. Pearls. Obviously, it's in, on the neck. Oh, there's our morph. There's our feather. Okay, we're down to three more objects. There's our shell. Our sock, now we need a cherry. Gotcha. Whew. Well done, Master Detective. You've located enough items to uncover the suspect's whereabouts at midnight. Gaze upon the window of yet to be. Unfasten the window to the puzzling future. Alright, puzzle number three. <laughs> okay, let's see. Fate is in your hands. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to line the colors up to their matching points here. I gotta do that to all eight of them. Okay. So if I click on the top one, it will swap the top, bo top and bottom. If I do in the bottom section, it will revert 
diagonally. I'm gonna do purple here. Sorry, pink, I'll avenge you. Okay, next is yellow. Almost there. Got it. <laughs> I thought I smelled something fishy. Ah, Marlena. It appears your midnight swim will make you the catch of the day. Bon appetit, moi poisson. In the carnival biz, we consider this a net loss. <laughs> Work quickly and find my killer. Okay, so that's three. Now we're down to 12 more. So the next one is Art the Carney, the cigar chomping ride operator from Capital City. Looks familiar. It's rumored that Madame Fate is fed up with his smoking and is going to make him give up his precious stogies. He can take away a man's dignity, but not his cheap cigars. Perhaps he'd like to see Madame Fate take one last ride. So if you don't understand what this one, who he does, what he does, he is actually a mechanic. He's the one who operates the rides. So here's what we're going to do. We're probably going to do about four or five more of these. See how much time we can pack up. See if we can get out. Okay, here we go. So we got 42 objects, but this won't be any different. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start at the entrance again. I do not trust these individuals. A devil. Devils are usually mischievous creatures, the opposite of angels. All right, let's see. I'm um, a saw blade. License plate, pie, a spring, a brush, broccoli, a knife, hmm, okay. Let's see, um, let me see, a radio, okay, there we are, grapes. Um, a knife. Knife? Oh, here we go. It was right up there. The devil was the face. Alright. Here's our next morph. So here's our next area. Happy devil. A devil can't be happy without its missing object. How about its trident? There we go. Hm, look at how big that smile is. So, a lemon lime. Maybe we need to put a lemon slice there. Hmm. Cute. Pretzel. Three paw prints. So here's our lightning bolt. Our string. Okay, pencil. A heart. A fountain pen. And a musical symbol. There's our musical symbol there. A pen. Where can I find it? There's our pen. Let's see. A heart. Heart, heart, heart. It's gotta be here somewhere. Heart. There it is. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna visit the three headed beast. Oh, man. I wonder if someone got eaten alive in there. Oh, <laughs> Very creepy indeed. Let's see. A hand. Well, 
What the creepy thing here? There's our palm print. Meat hook? There's our hot dog. Toilet? Eesh. Who puts a toilet out here? That's just creepy. A pipe branch. Ooh, there's a hand. Yin and Yang. It's a symbol of balance. The flute? Clown head? Clown head. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, whew. It's right up there. Let's see. Heart. There's gotta be a heart somewhere. There it is. Pipe wrench. There it is. And now the last one is the flute. I'm gonna probably use a hint on here. There it is. It was right on the cage. I'm gonna check out the art the carney. Okay, it looks like we got a Okay, I think it's sort of like Hangman. Six losses, and you have to start all over. Nope. Usually you start with the vowels. Hmm. A great evil approaches. Well, I'm terrible at this. Wow, this one is tough. Fruitcake. This one is suspicious. Okay, we get to do this three times here. Resisting. Resistance. Whew. Got out of there. Now, ten tickets, nine candies. This guy is smuggling candies over here. I'm not sure if I would consider this guy a carnival attraction, but he is attractable for candies and attractable for me to finding all these objects. Gonna find two more tickets. There's one there and one in his hat. Huh. Very quick. Alright, the amazing Larry. Let's see if we can punch this one out. 
Hmm. Okay, the king. Light bulb. Umbrella. Envelope. Feather. Maybe it's in the curtain? No? Hmm. Okay. Puzzle piece. Wow, that is very small there. A rooster? Rooster. Okay. Telephone. There's our feather. A hot dog. Well, here's our bow. We got a rooster, telephone, and hot dog left. Well, there's our hot dog right up there. A telephone. Oh, here's our rooster. And the telephone. Alright, I'm gonna probably use another hint if I can't find it in here. Hmm. There it is. It was right there at the edge of the tank. Yes, excellent work. With these items, the ball may be used to see if the suspect will be a threat at the stroke of 12. You must affix your gaze on the ball. Look closely and unlock the puzzling future. <laughs> hmm, not really a lot to focus on here. It looks like we got three different Ferris wheels. My a red gem in the middle, in a heart. green gem in the middle, a blue gem in the middle. Okay, so I think I understand what's going on here. This lever shifts it right. This one shifts it left. This button controls what color we're needed. So I need to get all the reds on this side, all the blues on this side, and all the greens in the middle. So I'm going to start with red first. I'm going to get all those. Oh, whoops. It's going for green. I'm going to get all these colors out of there. The blue, I'm going to collect here. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay. Let's see. Hmm, we're doing pretty good. Looks like I'm doing pretty good. Okay, I think we got this all figured out. Now, the reason why there are... It's not really a lot of blues to complete here, and not a lot of reds here. It's because we need to use all the greens here in the middle. Okay, that's this one. There. All finished. It appears my ride operator Whoa. will be enjoying his very huh. last break at midnight. I guess cigars really are bad for you. This is what happens when you smoke too much. Someone get him a blanket. He appears to be going cold. Turkey. <laughs> Select the carnival worker to learn more. This one is the contortionist. It's sort of a person who is flexible. Twyla Tangle, the contortionist. The Limber Charmer can fold herself into a suitcase and scratch her ear with her big toe. She's not so flexible when it comes to extra latrine duties at the carnival. Is her mind as twisted as her body? Is her fondness wish seeing her boss kick the bucket? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go to the tattoo part. That looks Work new. Quickly and find my killer. A film reel. Okay. Raccoon tail. Handprint. Take out, such as. Nope. Probably thinking about Chinese food. There we go. Ice tray. Ice tray is in the form of here. It's cube. You pour water in there and put it in the freezer. The receiver. There we are. It's part of the phone. You got the star. <laughs> oh, whoa. I wasn't going, going for that. I was going for the star. What? The broom. Oh, that's a brush. That's a broom. Caterpillar. Hmm, didn't notice that we have the increased objects here. 
Let's see. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Hmm. Caterpillars are very small, so they're really hard to find. Um. Let's see. I'm looking here. A clock showing midnight. I huh, didn't even notice that bottle cap there was a morphin on it. I was trying to move that clock. All right, let's see. A screwdriver. Whoa. That is a large needle. Engaged. Is it talking about a car? That's... All right, the car is engaged. Or probably a wedding. Let's see. A parrot. Okay, there's a doll, a cat toy, there's our parrot, there's our key, a gear, let's say I saw a gear earlier, there it is, it looks like a saw blade, but it's actually a gear, a flying saucer, obviously a UFO, or probably a frisbee, there's our screwdriver, there's the flying saucer, a cat toy, and engaged man I could have used that caterpillar earlier Can't seem to find it anywhere. Hmm. Can't seem to find the cat toy either. Oh, there it is. It was a mouse. That is so weird. Awkward. Okay, engaged. Oh, it's the ring. Who would have thought that? I'm gonna go here one more time. That way we can find our caterpillar. Should be here somewhere. There it is. It was on the barrel. Okay. Shooting gallery. Okay. Now. Let's say uh, hieroglyphics. It's a strange writing here. Egyptian writing. Three sets of keys. So we got piano keys, we got normal keys, and we got a typewriter keys. The letter M. Nope, it's not up there. Let's see. Wishbone. Hmm. Okay, there it is. A toy soldier. There it is. Orange. Should be a fruit. It's an orange slice. Um, a spade. An outlet. Oh, that's a keel. Who puts an outlet in here? There it is. The moth. A moth, a moth, a moth. Man, I can't find that moth anywhere. Why are some of these objects so hard to find these days? Where is those? Where are those objects? There are the spade. Clever disguise as that nose. The letter M. Can't seem to find it quite yet, but I'm sure I'm going to find it soon. Oh, there's the moth. It was right there. Okay, the tulip. Alright, the tulip should be a flower. There we are. The last thing is an M. I found the more of all again once I've done there. Oh, it was right there? Who would have guessed that? Okay, 30 items left. I can do this. 
Mermaid's tank. Sunglasses. Someday. Chopsticks. A donut. Step ladder. Screwdriver. Pistachios. I don't know what those do, but I think they're delicious. Duck and a pipe. There we are. Alright, carousel. Okay, here's our robot. Gavel. Umbrella. Hmm. Nope, that's not it. Let's see, cat dish. There's our umbrella. There's our chair. That's a jewelry box. A key. The key's gotta be here somewhere. Okay, a bow. Where is that bow? Okay, the bow is here somewhere. There it is. There's the cat, this. Heart. There it is. A compass and a key. Okay, compass. Where is that compass? All right, I'm gonna use a hint. Oh, wow. It was a nautical compass. All right, I'm gonna check out the amazing Larry. It's time for another word fast. Fate. Late. Feet. Hall. Heel. Teal. Heel. Oh, I already did that. Okay. Hate. Hell. Oh, whoops. This isn't a real word. Oh, field. Loot. There. That was simple than the previous one. Alright, let's see. Time to knock this out. Ten L's. There it is. Lightning bolts. Exactly. That's a cursive bell, if I ever see one. That's a morphing object, didn't actually notice that. Three L's. There's one on the handkerchief, if I ever see one. There we go. The All the moons. And I just need the lightning bolts. There should be one more. Um, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. There it is. Now we gotta get to the incinerator. Bowling ball? Paper clip. Oh wow, it's attached to that chain. Wow. A saw blade. Tape measure. Envelope. Ball and jacks. Ship. 
and a hooter. Oh, a microphone. Well done, Master Detective. You've located enough items to uncover the suspect's whereabouts at midnight. Only by focusing deep within the ball will the puzzling future be brought forth. <laughs> okay, so it looks like contortionist. My fate is in your hands. Roses are red, violets are blue, plums purse lavender. Envy emerald vase was a rusted ruddy ass russet. I think the one that's showing colors here, the one that's moving, I think that's the color I need to form. Blue. Flower. One. What was that? Okay, the next one is green. Looks like a butterfly here. Oh. That's the second one. The third one is purple, and we know that this one's going to come up last. So we got grapes. Oh, wait, 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 what am I doing? I'm putting purple in here. I'm doing the wrong color. Red one's the last one. Okay, I think we almost got this one settled. Red. Oh, that's what we got here. The teeth. So I guess I put them in the missing pieces here. There. <laughs> Do not ask for whom the bell tolls, Twyla. When the clock strikes twelve, Whoa. you'll be fit to be tied. Is she drowning? Oh well, the key to entering small spaces is remembering a little something to get you out. <laughs> Select the carnival worker to learn more. Bianca the Daredevil Diva. The set with Mike range from being repeatedly shot out of a cannon. Bianca's decided to have an intern secretly perform her most dangerous stunts. Madame Fate is threatened to replace her if she dies. Would Bianca like to see the Madame Fate a per take a permanent hike? So it looks like we've done a third of this. I'm going to probably do one more before I wrap things up for tonight. Let's see how many we can get out of here. And if we do, I'm going to call it quits until tomorrow. What did I ever do okay, so it looks this? like we got to do six words to win. One here, one here, here, and there. So I'm going to do ace... So,
Hmm. I gotta do this. Oh, wow. Did it. Didn't even notice that. Okay, nine balloons, ten feathers. You are as good as I heard. Oh, that's not it. Well done. Okay, let's see. Um... We only got one more balloon and five more feathers. Oh, there it is. That was a balloon. Okay. Now I got a few more feathers. That's another feather. Form. Okay, that's only three more left. Okay, make that two. Man, those feathers are really hard. Well, there's okay, only one more. Not even close. Huh, there it is. Well, let's check something else out. Ooh, Pigpin, we haven't done here yet. I wonder if this is part of her stunt. Okay, bullet, cauliflower, white vegetable. Nope. Okay, okay, let's see. Clubs. It's probably talking about golf clubs here. Oh, nice pumpkin. Okay, trophy? Nope. Let's see. Trophy some kind of reward. There it is. It was right behind the jack-o'-lantern. A cowbell. I think a cowbell is some kind of tool. A bolt. There's a hook. I can't tell. Is a bolt? Whoa, whoa. Okay, a brand. What is a brand? There's another morphing object. You can click on that. Huh. So that was the brand. Didn't see that coming. Here are the keys. So we got a bolt, a cowbell, and a pencil left. Pencil? Okay, the bolt and the cowbell. So there's our bolt. Now, where's our cowbell? Oh, now I understand what it's talking about. It's talking about the bell that cows wear around their necks. That bell. Thought it was talking about some kind of weight or a tool. Let's try the bumper cars again. Elephant? Tiki? Sunglasses? Tubers. That object again. Not sure if I even found it in there. Anyway, we've got the beets, spool, grasshopper, skeeples. Hmm. There we are. Fork, knife. No, that's uh, some kind of bone or something. A knife. Okay, where's that knife? It's really hard. There it is. Now for the tubers. I'm gonna probably use the pants here. Oh, that one. I totally forgot. Alright, I'm gonna use the confession stand now. Health code violation. I wonder what went to great lengths here. Okay, watermelon. There is a wine bag. Okay, um, let me see. Appeal. It's pretty easy. Books. Paper airplane. Shovel. Well, there are the bellows. 
There's another morph. A baseball. There we are. Lizard, shovel, wine bag, and seahorse. There's the seahorse. Wine bag, shovel, and lizard. There's the lizard. There's our wine bag. Where's that shovel? No, that's not a shovel. That's an ore. Um. Hmm. Can't seem to find it. Oh, wow, there it was. I'm gonna try the clown's trailer. Pacifier. Might be the last one on my list for tonight. So, a lime, potato, tomato. Oh, potato and tomato. Nah. Oh, no, no, that's not it. There it is. Space shuttle, monkey, lobster. Where's that lobster? Shades. Obviously right there. Bacon right there. Lunchbox. As good as I've heard. Lobster. Can't seem to find that. That pacifier. I'm gonna probably use it for my last ant. There it is. Right there. Yes, excellent work. With these items, the ball may be used to see if the suspect will be a threat at the stroke of 12. Gaze upon the window of yet to be. Unfasten the window to the puzzling future. <laughs> So what am I doing here? So I click on the objects here? Um, okay. It seems some of these objects seem to remain the same. I'm gonna first get all these objects here, that way I'll be able to figure out which ones we need to click on. Okay, looks like we found all looks like I found all the objects. I just need to pair them up. Okay, the left side here. So if we're doing the Pegasus, I'm gonna go for wings here. I'm gonna look for a horse. I think I'm supposed to combine these two. Wings plus something equals a horse. Pegasus. Okay, so I need to continue this off. I'm gonna try Pirate next. Nope. Crossbones. Should be a skull on one of these. Nope. There we are. Pirate. Water. I'm sure I saw the H2O here. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure that fires from a tree get struck by lightning. Lightning and tree. Man, I'm getting good at this. So we got a pan for pancakes. Pretty simple. I just need a pan and a cake. Figurative language. Pancake. A foot and a ball. There we go. Foot. Nope. Nope. Yep. A baby. Probably produced by a man and a woman. So here's our woman. Nope. No. No. 
There we are. Hatchling. There's probably going to be an egg in here somewhere. Nope. What does this add up to? Boy, a swan. I mean, that has something to do with it. Hmm, this one is tough. I'm gonna try a different one. Look sharp. Star. And lift the dark veil of the hours to come. Boy, gasoline and fire. Maybe that's an explosion. Starfish. Storm. Fish. There we go. Only two left. A monk and a key. So here's a monk. Key. Monk. Chicken. Wait, a rooster? Oh, what these two have in common. No? I need something else. Maybe there's an egg on one of these. Oh, there we go. A rooster and a chicken to produce. Whew! Oh, I see my daredevil diva will be practicing her new stunt at midnight. Ooh. I suppose it's true what they say about folks like Bianca. All daredevils never die. They just get blown away. <laughs> Excellent work, detective. Okay, so that's going to probably end the live stream for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, we're going to stop here, but tomorrow we're going to continue off. I'm going to probably do it at 3 o'clock-ish. We're going to probably do about an hour and a half in. If we don't finish, so then we'll finish this on Wednesday, okay? Oh, whoa, 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 no. So I'm going to go to the menu, quit. All right. So I hope you guys had a great time with the game walkthrough so far. I'm going to be putting up the poll to hole on next week. That way we'll decide on what game we're going to be doing next. Hope you guys love.